Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming something slightly different from my usual vlog content. I am going to be filming what's in my cleaning basket. I know there are a lot of videos on YouTube about what's in my bag, what's in my makeup pouch, but I wanted to film something that was a little different and something that I personally am very interested in. So, Without further ado, let's dive right in because I have so many things, you guys. First, let us talk about the cleaning tools that I'm using right now. Let's start with the squeegee. To be honest, this is one of the tools that I probably use the least around the house. It's for you to clean water off glass surfaces. For our bathtub, we do have a glass panel that kind of prevents water from splashing out and there are a lot of hot water stains on it. I actually bought this squeegee for daily use just to clean the water stains off that glass panel. But to be honest, I have been skipping this step every night just because I feel like my weekly clean down of that glass panel is sufficient. So yeah, this has kind of been just lying around in my basket. Next is this hot brush. Uh, the brush here is super stiff so it can really scrub um, stains or dirt down very well. This is from the Beldre brand. I think this is quite a popular household brand here in the UK and I just bought this because I thought that sometimes I may need a hard brush head to scrub down scum or I don't know mold and mildew in the bathroom so that's why I got this for. Next up we have the most adorable things ever. This is a scrub daddy and this is a scrub mummy. They have so many different cute shapes and now that's coming to Christmas, I've also seen a Christmas tree shape one. I love it. For Scrub Daddy, it is a hard sponge all around, so it's better for cleaning tough, hard surfaces. So stuff like your window panes, like the sides, the grills. For Scrub Mummy, it comes with one side that is a hard surface, but it is honestly not as hard as Scrub Daddy. And the other side is a soft sponge, so kind of the texture of a washing up sponge. And it's a lot easier to squeeze water out of it just because there is a soft sponge side. For Scrub Daddy, it's a lot harder to squish water out of it just because it is so hard and stiff. And then next, I have two Spuntex. Spontex? Spontex? Basically two Spontex or Spontex sponges. They are really nice because they absorb so much water. And then, now we're gonna talk about something that I really like using and that is Minky Pads. I have four of them and they are all for different purposes. First, let's talk about this mini one. The front of it is a little harder. The back is just regular cloth. But the front, as you can hear, it's kind of scratchy. I use this to clean down my bathroom sink just because the size works really well. My bathroom sink is tiny. I find that it's a thing here in the UK that bathroom sinks are super small and this small size sponge just works very well in cleaning my bathroom sink. And then I use this bigger size minky pad. This is the size difference. They are basically the same thing the same textures for the front and back but this one is just bigger and I use this to clean down the electric stove top. Uh, it's non-scratch so you don't have to worry about that. I just like using the scratchy side to clean down the stove top because it gets rid of any um, soup stains or food stains that may have gotten on the stove top while I was cooking. So that's what I use these two pads for. And then for the other two pads, they are different because they are soft on both sides. So they are cloth texture on both sides. This grey one is the kitchen pad and this blue one is the bathroom pad. Um, I didn't categorize this myself. <laughs> when I bought it, that was what it was stated. The kitchen pad is what I would use to clean down my kitchen sink. So every night I would wipe down my entire sink with 
this minky kitchen pad as well as some dishwashing liquid and it works very well to get the sink all shiny and as for the blue one this is what I use to clean down my bathtub so yeah that's how I use my four minky pads and I really like minky pads um, between the minky the spantex and the scrubs I would definitely say that I like Minky the most. I feel they are the most versatile and effective. Okay, now let's us move on to all the different cleaning products that I use. I like to try out a lot of different brands and products in general. And I do have quite a bit of stuff. The basket is so heavy, I can't even lift it up. Let me try. Oh, I have so much stuff and it's not... Even everything you guys, I have a whole bunch of other backups <laughs> sitting in the corner but I'll first go through what's in the basket. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh my gosh, I have 18 bottles of Zoflora. Call me a Zoflora addict. <laughs> I am out on a mission to try every single scent from Zoflora. I will just quickly run through with you guys what are the scents that I currently have in my Zoflora collection. It's a problem, you guys. <laughs> this is Hello Spring. This is Velvet Poppy. This is Twilight Garden. Honeysuckle and Jasmine. Winter Morning, Cucumber and Mint, Coconut and Lime, next is Cranberry and Orange, and then I also have Pink Grapefruit, Rose Noir, Country Garden, Springtime, Peony Blush, Violet and Mimosa Cypress and Sea Sage Wow, this is never ending <laughs> White Blossoms Bluebell Woods Orchard Pear I've also tried a couple of other scents that are currently not in my collection just because I'm finished with them One of them is Rhubarb and Cassis I don't really like the scent of that to be honest for some reason, it just doesn't speak to me. The other one that I really like is Spice Plum and Frosted Peppermint. I think up to this point, Frosted Peppermint has got to be my favorite Zoflora scent. Um, I've also used Fresh Linen. Uh, that is alright, in my opinion. A scent that you can't go wrong with. Yeah, I think that's everything that I have tried from Zoflora up until this point. And then this 18 bottles are just what I have on hand right now. I go through them so quickly, you guys. Now, what do I use the flora for? Mm, I would pour a cap full of it down the kitchen sink, down the bathtub drain, just to disinfect and make the room smell a lot nicer because of how strong the fragrance is. Or I would dilute it with hot water and I would soak all my sponges and pads in the sink in hot water and zoflora just to disinfect them after I have used them to clean down the kitchen, the bathroom and whatnot. And then sometimes I'll pour a cap full of it in my toilet brush holder to disinfect the toilet brush head after I have used it. Um, what else do I use the flora for? Yeah, that is pretty much it. You can also dilute the flora in warm water and use that as a cleaning agent. So we just use that to um, Clean down your countertops or your sinks or whatever you wish with a minky pad or something. For me personally, I don't do that just because I like to try out multi-purpose cleaners from the different brands. Um, so I don't use this to clean down my hard surfaces. But you can do that if it's something you wish. You can also dilute this and use it to wipe down your floor tiles. Yeah. Okay, next is a very interesting product that I want to talk to you guys about. I have not heard of this prior to moving to the UK. This is called the Uniborn Special Silicone Renew. There we go. So you know when you move into an old house or a rental place which has been kind of beaten up, 
there are this kind of very dark brown or black stains on the tiles. They could be mold, they could be mildew, or it could just be dirt built up over the years that have harden so much that you can't get rid of it with regular multi-purpose cleaner. So when such um, situations arise, I like to use this to run through the tiles. All the stains will get covered by this sealant and the tiles will look white again. I don't know whether you can get this in Singapore. If I had known about it, I would have bought it to try on my house in Singapore just because when I bought my place, it wasn't um, first hand so there were some tiles that had such issues as well and it was taking me forever and a day to get rid of it with a toothbrush and some multi-purpose cleaner but anyway it just didn't work as well as I would have hoped but this is amazing you guys and it's so convenient you just have to squeeze the product out and run it through the tiles and they end up looking brand new again. Next, wet wipes. Everyone needs some of this good stuff in your cleaning basket. I'm just using the Fabulosa Antibacterial Wipes and I always go back to this brand. There are 80 wipes in one packet and it's very inexpensive as well. And I do go through them very quickly. I use them mainly to clean down the toilet bowl and I do use a lot of wipes at any one time. So they do get depleted very quickly. I just like using wet wipes to clean the toilet bowl. I know it's not the most environmentally friendly, but I just can't bear the thought of using my cleaning cloths to wipe down the toilet bowl and then washing them in my washing machine and then using them again to clean my kitchen countertop. It's just too unsanitary in my opinion, so I just like to clean the toilet bowl with disposable wet wipes. Next, let us talk about white vinegar. You must always have white vinegar in your cleaning stash because it is such a versatile cleaning agent. I just get this spray bottle from the brand Star Drops. Well, to be honest, I don't think that white vinegar is the most effective product to get rid of stains and lime scale as it suggests here just because I feel like it's not strong enough but what I like to use this for is to clean down some of my kitchen appliances like the microwave and the air fryer yes the microwave and the air fryer uh, you do put food inside and I don't want to use a very strong antibacterial cleaner to clean down these appliances because I don't want them to come into contact with my food or anything of that sort. Whereas I feel like white vinegar is probably a little less toxic, a little less potent. So this is just what I use to wipe down my kitchen appliances and anything that would come into contact directly with food. Next is the matted glass cleaner. This is in the scent Mint and I really really am obsessed with mint scent products. I have used this for years. I was using this back in Singapore as well and this has got to be the best glass cleaner I've ever tried. You don't have to go very heavy handed with this, just a little bit goes a very long way. In fact, if you use too much, it does kind of leave a... what do I call that? oily residue on the surfaces so yeah just try to go light handed on this i know it's easier said than done because if you're someone like me i do go a bit crazy when i'm using my cleaning products i like to use a lot of it at one go but i have found that with this product you don't have to use too much otherwise it defeats the purpose i just wipe down glass surfaces with some of this and some microfiber cloths and then we have Viacal. This is in the fresh scent. It is a tie up with Febreze. And honestly, the scent doesn't even smell fresh at all. It still smells very strong and chemical like. And I've already heard that this is much better than the original Viacal scent. So I can't even imagine how the original scent would be like. I just always go for the fresh scent one. And it says here on the bottle that this is number one against lime scale. So yes, I know that Star Drops White Vinegar Spray does claim that it removes lime scale, but trust me, it doesn't. It is way less effective than Viacal. So um, what I like to do with Viacal is that I will spray down metal 
surfaces with this so stuff like tabs sink heads and then I just let that sit for two to three minutes and then I will spray everything down with running water and then for the bathroom we also have flash anti back bathroom spray I have gone through bottles of this stuff I use it to clean sinks so for the sink head I would use via cal, but for the actual sink itself and for the actual bathtub itself I would use the flash bathroom spray I'll spray a lot of this I'm super generous I'll spray so much of it on the bathtub and then I'll wipe everything down with a minky pad and yeah that's just how I use my flash bathroom spray next let's talk about the pink stuff miracle cream cleanser this is also by Star Drops, so it's the same company as this white vinegar spray. The pink stuff is kind of famous here in UK. A lot of people use it for various things around the house. I know they're famous for their pink stuff paste, and I've heard that that works really well to get rid of tough grease stains in oven. You guys know ovens are probably the worst things to clean. And for this house, we had it professionally cleaned before we move in. And since then, we've barely used it, to be honest. So it's still very clean and very new-ish. <laughs> so I haven't um, gotten myself the Pink Stuff Paste. But if oven cleaning is a chore for you, then you can try the Pink Stuff Paste. It comes in a small tub. I've heard that really works wonders. But for me, I have the cream cleanser and what I use this for is to squirt a little bit of this on my electric stove top and then I'll wipe it down with a minky pad and it gets rid of any stubborn um, soup stains or food stains and I'm about to be done with this I think I have like a quarter left so once I'm done with that I will switch up to using let me just grab it this one this is the Seaf Winter Sparkle Cream. This is a limited edition winter scent. I am very excited to try this. I don't know how it would smell, but I hope it smells nice and festive. Another pink stuff product that I have. I have like just a tiny bit of it left. I'll probably just finish this tonight when I'm cleaning the kitchen. But this is the multi-purpose cleaner. So I use this on practically every hard surface or countertop around the house. I use it to clean down our dining table, our storage cabinet and our kitchen countertops, the backsplash of our kitchen, um, what else? Yeah, basically any hard surface or countertop that you can think of, this is my go-to. And once I'm done with this, I have two backups. Here are my two backups. The first one is Azoflora Multi-Purpose Disinfectant Cleaner. The only difference is that this one is um, disinfecting, whereas the Pink Stuff Multi-Purpose Cleaner is not. So I thought I would switch things up and try this out. Also, I was very soaked by the scent, which is Winter Spice. And then I also bought a second backup just because this is from the Mrs. Hinge brand. It's Flash Spray Wipe Hinge. So it's a tie up between Mrs. Hinge and Flash and it's in the Frosted Berries scent. I found that cleaning products here in the UK tend to have a lot of very funky, special, unique scents. I don't think you can find this kind of scents really in Singapore. So I'm really all out to try as many of them as I possibly can and I'm super excited to try this too. And you know if it's something by Mrs. Hinge then I got to have it because I am absolutely obsessed with her. Next, this is the 1001 Carpet Fresh Spray. It is in the Thai Orchid and Passion Fruit scent. This is not my favourite scent. My favourite is the... I think it's the Frosted Berry scent and I do have a whole stash of them in my cabinet right now but I just want to finish using this one first. What I use this for is after I have vacuumed the carpets in the house, I would spray this very generously. Again, I am super generous when it comes to using cleaning products. I will spray this down on all the carpets 
and I just let the foam soak into the cupboard and it will help to eliminate any odours and get rid of any funky smells and basically help to freshen up your cupboards. Next is the Fabulosa Shock Can in the Sand Rainbow Drops. You may be wondering what a shock can is. It is basically an air freshener and sanitizer. Yes, that's why it says on the can. I didn't come up with that myself. So you know I like to burn a lot of candles around the house and sometimes when the flame goes off, the smoky smell gets a bit overwhelming. So what I like to do then is I can just spray a little bit of this randomly in the air and it will totally cover and get rid of the smoky smell. Or sometimes if you find that the smell of your food or cooking is getting a little strong in the house, you can also similarly just spray a little bit of this in the air and you will get rid of any odours. Um, but do take note that the smell of this is super strong. So you probably just want to spray it for one second and that would already work fantastically. So don't go super crazy with spraying this all over your house. <laughs> Um, and it also says at the back that you can only use this in short bursts, no longer than 3 seconds and you need to ensure that the area is well ventilated just because of how strong the scent is I believe. And then here I have two all-in-one disinfectant sprays from the Fabulosa brand. This is in the Summer Spritz fragrance and this is in the Birthday Cake fragrance. I'm currently using the Summer Spritz so I'm still not done with it. Um, but I do kind of regret getting it. I'm not sure if it's just the case for the Summer Spritz one or if it's a problem across the board for all of their disinfectant sprays. But the product actually comes out orange. So I have tried to spray down my toilet cleaning brush with this just to disinfect it and it turned the whole brush head orange. <laughs> That's why now I have stopped doing that and I've just been disinfecting the toilet brush with Zoflora instead. And I've also tried to spray this on my, um, I forgot what it's called, <laughs> my cleaning cloths, um, microfiber, yes. I've also sprayed my microfiber cloths with this and tried to clean down my uh, staircase banister with it and it turned my cloth orange. Thankfully it didn't turn my staircase banister which is white, it didn't turn that orange but my entire microfiber cloth turned orange. So I don't know if that's a problem because this is the summer spritz scent or if there's gonna be the same staining issue with the birthday cake one but I wasn't about to give up on the product that's why I got the birthday cake scent one to try out uh, just to see if it has the same problem but I haven't actually tried it out. I will update you guys if this stains or not. You can also use it to spray on your light switches around the house. But obviously don't spray it directly on the light switch, you can spray it on a microfiber cloth and then use that cloth to wipe down all your light switches. Yeah, that's just what I like to do. You can also do the same to wipe down doorknobs or cupboard handles and stuff like that. And the last product that we have, toilet bowl cleaners. We have the Pink Stuff Miracle Toilet Cleaner. I don't see this around that often so once I chanced upon it, I knew I had to pick it up. I want to try everything from the pink stuff. <laughs> and then I have two scents from the Harpic brand. One is Mountain Pine. I've heard a lot of good stuff about the scent of this. And the other one is the Bamboo Garden one. It's a limited edition scent. I haven't used the Harpic Toilet Bowl Cleaner before personally, but I've heard that it works very well. Previously, I was using the dark brand one here and it works very well as well. But for the dark one, I like how thick the consistency was. I have found some brands of toilet cleaning gels in Singapore are actually very liquidy and very thin in consistency so it doesn't clean the toilet bowl as well. You definitely need to scrub that and then scrub it down with a toilet brush head. But I have found that at least for the dark brand one when I was using it here because of how thick the consistency was I just had to squirt the whole toilet bowl with it and it would get rid of any stains without me needing to scrub it down with a toilet brush head. So yeah that's just my personal observation. But yeah, that is everything. My cleaning basket is now completely empty. Look how massive it is, but I still can't store everything. Whew. The 
this is such a long video, I'm gonna wrap up now. If you have any comments or questions about my cleaning routine or my cleaning products, you can leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching. I hope that the information was helpful and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!